Are we having fun yet? I know I am. Marauder EX here with part 9 of Let's Play Dragon Force. Alright. I'm going to... Weather this storm out. I've got two other armies coming after me. The remnants of Lane's army and the Skull Children. So I'm going to... Switch around who's got some troops. That way the generals that I know are strong enough to deal with all this have the troops that they need. And the fodder troops can just sit back and hang out while the other guys do all the work. Alright. Pain and Agony are the two Skull Children that I'm dealing with now. There's another group of three. I forget their names off the top of my head. I've only really dealt with them a couple of times throughout all of my playthroughs. Um, pain and Agony are... <sighs> their names are it. They are a pain and they are agonizing. They're more of a hassle than anything else, because you just can't get rid of them. Alright, I tried to send Lane down to the other castle to go ahead and take care of it since it's empty, but she ran into her last remnant, so this is this is going to be kind of easy, because I'll just get into a duel. That's, that's all it's going to be. And, and like I was saying earlier, uh, troops that have history or interaction, they have different dialogues. So the dialogue's a little longer on this. They're actually, you know, talking back and forth because they know each other. It's not going to change anything. They're not going to just, you know, defect and join me. Uh, one general who will always defect, given the opportunity, is Bastion. He's the guy who's kind of hanging out over near Fiend Tower, just sitting on the world map near one of the villages. If you get him... Just place him in a, a castle as far away from the front lines as possible and just forget about him. Uh, he's, he's worthless. So we're going to have a cat fight. And I'm going to win because... Look, look, okay. Yeah, there it goes. The difference in HP and the difference in damage that was being done was just... That was a no-win situation there. So I've now taken out all of Lane's people, which means my next domestic fares. I'll get another general, which is good. I'm doing really good on generals. Granted, I wish during the search phase that my people would stop looking for generals and just try to get All right, round two. There's really not much else I can do at this point. We'll just give Scar as many troops as possible and hope for the best. Oh, well, that was awesome. The NPCs just took out the Skull Children, so this is... I'm two for two for not dealing with Skull Children. That's going to be awesome when I finally do have to. So now that that's happened, I'm just going to send people out and... not decrease the level of my castle again. I'll just fight outside the castle. Considering they just took out Skull Children, they have no troops. They're, if they've got any troops, it's like one or two. Yeah, neither of them have anything, so... This is going to be more easy XP for Ramsel and Kid. Which is good, because with this, they'll be pretty much caught up to my other generals, and now I can start, you know, sending generals out on a needed basis instead of worrying about who needs to level up. Alright, this monk, Stegalt, I really hope I can recruit him. He's got 5 MP, which means he can use his level 1 ability twice. Which, any general with that much MP who's not a magic user, that's great. Monks aren't the, the best offensive generals, but they, they've got more than enough power behind them to uh, keep themselves alive long enough to deal some damage. Like, I'm fully expecting him to take out a good number of my troops, plus his special abilities are going to hurt Ramsel just a little bit. So. Yeah, he's pretty much tearing into my troops, so I really hope I can recruit him. In the end, he's not going to win. Just, that's not going to happen. But he, he's putting up one hell of a fight, so... And... That's it. So, one general down, one more to go. And this one's a magic user versus kid. So he's not going to get a special off at all. Even though he's only got the MP to do it once, depending on what special ability he's got, once is more than enough. 
he's got holy shield that will decimate my troops and i forgot to check before we going into this battle so i'm not going to take any chances and i'm just going to shiva's dagger him to death Otherwise, a single magician cannot take on 30 troops. 40 troops. That's right. He won the last fight, so he got him 30. And the only magic user who could probably take on that many was probably like Gaul and Scythe. And I... Heaven help me if I have to deal with them anytime soon. I'm so not prepared to deal with them. So. One thing that you can do if you use Shiva's Dagger and it removes all of the power meter from your opponent's gauge, it takes longer to uh, recover, so it's even longer that they're not going to use a special, so he's, he's not getting anything off. Alright. That was insane. That was a ton of people attacking this one castle. I might actually have to fortify this castle during my next domestic affairs just so that it doesn't decrease too much. Alright, now with that, I'm finally going to make a beeline for Pale Moon. <laughs> this is like the third time I've tried to send troops over to Pale Moon and join up with them. I just need to have my my monarch get over there, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and send a full group over because I know Pale Moon will join me instantly, but it, n it never hurts to be prepared <laughs> in this game. Because the one time you expect something to happen, it doesn't happen. I'm going to go ahead and send right over and take over the empty castle that uh, Stegalt and Kilrin just came from. That way I've got another castle during my next domestic affairs. I've got two awards. Let's see who's going where. Alright, he's an idiot. He's not going to make it there. More Highland troops coming up. Holy crap! Oh my god, people are still going after that castle. That castle just has a big freaking target sign painted over its head. Alright, we'll send June back, and... Oh god, I just wanted to recruit Pale Moon. I don't want to lose the castle. I haven't lost yet, knock on wood. So, let's... Let's deal with this again. Alright, I'm going to cut it here. I'll see you in the next video.